Thorvaldur Thordarsson is an Icelandic geologist. He is an expert in the volcanology, and he has been advising uh, for a long time about the risks associated with the, you know, uh, volcanic uh, eruptions. He shed light on this. People like that can be unpopular sometimes, not just him, I'm not talking about him personally. If you're a person who goes and advises people about health and safety, when they are sleepwalking into, for example, a floodplain or a danger zone in a mine or a cave and point into the hazard and the risk associated with it and give them advice, you may be ignored. You will not be very popular. In Iceland, we have all the geological knowledge available. Maps are drawn. Systems of the volcanoes are known, and many books and publications are available about them. We have eruptions already and charts available for them to show that these eruptions are associated with this earthquake. We have the hazards uh, for the you know, gases and ash flowing toward the no other parts of the world, and yet... You ad your advice is ignored, uh, pointed to the other direction. It's thrown away like a bag of trash. The risk is there, and we know this. We have to learn for this. For Grindavik, for Reykjavik, anywhere else in the world, you know, geologists have to be listened. This image should be the icon for the geologist risk assessment. Where lava is there in the past, it may erupt and come there, come there again. I have several videos about these situations, and I will... Um, put them after this video, uh, my colleague is right on that, that we have to listen to the risk assessments. He's more tactful than me, but I'm just telling it more direct. We have to listen to the risk assessment. We have to listen to geologists. You cannot ignore the people who know. What is happening to the Grindavik and where to build it again? Grindavik uh, is in the Reykjanes Peninsula of Iceland, in the Northern Atlantic Ocean. In this area, we had an uplift to the east and the west and the central part which was this town is actually sinking going down and this is a grabbing situation we have two fault lines controlling at the center the town is falling the whole area the zone is falling and the magma is rising there this is the eurasian plate separating from the north american plate tectonically this is the active region mid-oceanic ridge we call it this is where the ground the new earth the new lithosphere is being built by the magma which is we can see through this three-dimensional vision through the seals is rising filling up the gap that created when the cracks in the ground appear rising to the ground gluing it again in a way you can say it takes a long time actually to dry that's not a very good glue in that sense but anyway when the movements of the blocks of the lithosphere the earth crust happens this is the rising of the magma which creates these volcanic eruptions. We see the lava at the surface, and that is what we call a volcanic eruption. Grindavik, where it is now, people probably will not return to it. If they can get insurance money for it and go somewhere else, they will probably do it. Although it is home for many of them. But there are possibilities you can, uh, that you can actually uh, take the old Grindavik and put it somewhere that is actually the land is rising to the east part of it, where it is more sheltered. Old Grindavik transferred to the east part in that peninsula is actually where it is rising. You will be safer probably in that sense. Grindavik is like Florida for the United States of America. It has a subpolar oceanic climate, very similar to the Faroe Islands or the very northern parts of the Scotland. It is ice-free through the year, so it's a favorable place. Florida in America is such a place. Expensive, very rich people only can live there, but we can build it again. This is a future probably for a Grindavik to move a little bit to somewhere safer. The area that was flooded. This is the area that was flooded on our last journey. Now, look at it now. Yeah, you can see where the building sites were. They were actually digging foundations here, and it's still waterlogged. You can see, there we go, yeah. all yeah, along there. Sure and I'm just going to turn the camera now. Here I am again. 
Um, this is the train we showed you in the... And this is, yeah. Well, you talk then, are you talking? No, Here's no. the building site. There we go, everybody. There we go, the building site. And they haven't learnt their bloody lesson. They have not given up. They haven't given up. They're still building. They're still building. They're going to have houses here. My God, look. <laughs> I don't think any of the local people would be so buying anything from here. Yeah. They're uh, called Team Sideway. Team Sideway. A forty-four forty. Okay, on the A forty-four forty, and I think I can catch this little vehicle working overtime on a Saturday to make up for lost time. Yeah. And yeah, and the. They're oh, over they're there. Digging. Yeah, they're digging. And you see more boats there, I think. That's they're the still thing. digging, and if you can see down here, you'll see the builders here digging. But look, the land is still waterlogged. They're also building an access road that would be flooded. That was underwater. All this was underwater. Underwater. This is a valley. And uh, <laughs> a bit more the ground, not less the ground. where you get the where you get the valleys, where you get the valleys and where you get the rivers. If you've got mountains, oh, yeah, you, ground, lamps, there, there we uh, go. Lamps, yeah, the there we go. And there's the other building site, and I think this part was underwater too. Yeah, there was a big <laughs> traffic jam here. Just don't go and live on this estate. Floods! There we go. And they're building new houses along here. So anyone who wants a new house, don't come here. Herefordshire. Yeah, this is Herefordshire. Where the wet. Mm -hmm. All these the fields. Yeah, it's wet. It is absolutely soaked. Look at it. I'll just let the camera run for a little while. There's a little house there that is just about... I'm not sure whether it's flooded. There's a small row of houses. I think they'd have the pumps the out there. Out yeah, though. look, there we go. They were building houses yeah. to help the people. They were, you can see, they're actually... If you want to buy anything, look at the flood map of the UK. Yeah, look at the flood map because these were having new builds. All of here was being new built. It's field after field and the same on the opposite side of the road. Uh, I think we can call safely the Herefordshire also a lake district. At the moment, everywhere we can just see lakes. Mm. As some may say, where is the Prime Minister? You get what you deserve. They seem to be coming home now. And uh, yeah, they're still flooding on the other side. We have a lake district. Mm. Yeah, we're coming home now and again, just showing you a few hours later. And this is the opposite side of the ride, and those trees you see in the middle of that so called lake, it's actually a windbreak tree. That's yeah, the field, this whole field. And the same that side. Well, I can't, can I? Okay, there are, there are, there's the cranes there. I think they're lifting bits and pieces out. I think they were actually there mm. without knowing that was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, they were, these are... They're building something. Yeah, they, they were, should be, constructing buildings actually. Um, they're building a new <laughs> pier here. Yeah, I think they were building a new pier. The they were doing Queen something Mary, there. Queen Mary sheep to come here and the uh, cruise ship. Come and take the passengers for Atlantic. But they were building something here. It's practically what you see here is the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Again, this side. Oh, um, oh look at yeah, that bridge. Just, just a river. 
blasted its banks. There we go. It's not Severn. <laughs> it's not the Bristol Channel. This is the River Tain. <laughs> there, that's the little River Tain. Look at it. Tiny River. And that's both sides. Both sides. It just burst its banks. 